Hi, today we will discuss that how does monopoly creates dead weight loss. Monopoly kis tarike se hamaay total surplus ki loss ko create karta hai. How does it basically leads to dead weight loss. So let's understand it through an example. So as we can see here in this diagram, let us see that as we know that our upward sloping curve is our supply curve which is represented by S. Our this downward sloping curve, upper curve that is downward sloping is our AR curve or average revenue curve which is also known as demand curve. Similarly, our downward sloping curve below AR curve is our MR curve that is our marginal revenue curve. Our supply curve is also our marginal cost curve. Now we know in perfect competition, uh, there, our equilibrium condition is reached at a point where our supply curve is equal to our demand curve that is at this point E star. At this point E star, our equilibrium quantity is Q star and our equilibrium price is P star. So now let's see what are what is our consumer surplus, producer surplus and total surplus. So our consumer surplus as we can see is the region above our price line P star E star and below our demand curve that is our AR curve. So we can see this small triangle P2, P star E star is our consumer surplus. P2 E star P star. So our producer surplus is the area above our supply curve and below our price line P star E star. Therefore, and this is our supply curve, therefore this triangle of P star P1 E star is our producer surplus. P star E star P1 is our producer surplus. Therefore, we can say our total surplus is this entire region. That is this entire bigger triangle is our total surplus which is equal to P2, E star and P1. Now, so now let's consider the case of monopoly. We know that monopoly is a market structure, market condition where there are multiple buyers but a single seller. So therefore we can say that since there is a single seller, the seller has a monopoly over the price and quantity. But now let's see. So we know that in case of a single seller, this our, the seller would like to maximize its profits and we know that profit is maximized at the condition where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. That is where my supply is equal to my marginal revenue. So as we can see here, the point where our marginal revenue is equal to our marginal cost is this point. That is intersection is at this point. So now we know that our new equilibrium will be set at this point where our supply curve is equal to our marginal revenue curve. Let's name this point as E1. So and this gives us our equilibrium quantity that is Q1. Now we know at quantity Q1 our new price is this line that is this is P3. Therefore our equilibrium this is our new equilibrium quantity and price on demand line we can name this point as E2. Now we know that our consumer surplus is basically equal to the area above the price line that is P3E2 and below our demand curve that is AR curve. Therefore this region is, is P2, E2, P3. Now our producer surplus is equal to the area below our price line P3E2 and above our supply curve that is this trapezium area is our producer surplus which is equal to P3, E2, E1, P1. Therefore, 
our total surplus now leads to the figure of P2, E2, E1, C1. That is this region, entire region is our new total surplus. Now, as we know, in our perfect competition, our region of total surplus was region P2, E star, P1. That is this bigger triangle. But now, our and monopoly, our total surplus is this area. Therefore, our loss in total surplus is, which we can also say as dead weight loss is basically, how much? Our dead weight loss is this region of E2, E star and E1. That is, this yellow shaded region is our dead weight loss. Thus, we can say, even monopoly leads to dead weight loss. Now the question is, why does, why does monopoly leads to dead weight loss? Because monopoly is a, again an externality. Because this does not lead to free functioning of the market. Now market cannot function freely because there is a single buyer who has a control over a price. Earlier, there were several buyers and several sellers who were controlling the price. But now, a single seller is controlling the price and buyers have no control, uh, control over the prices. Therefore, it leads to deadweight loss. Thus, monopoly leads to deadweight loss. I hope you like this video. Thank you.